All right then, gang. So in this series, you're going to learn how to use Next.js 13 with TypeScript to create an interactive photo gallery with search functionality. It's a really, really fun project to make, and I think it follows on nicely from my recent Next.js masterclass course. So if you're new to Next, make sure you check out that first. The link is down below in the description. Now, to teach you how to make this project, I brought in Dave Gray, who is an incredible teacher here on YouTube. He's actually one of my favorite web dev instructors and he's got so many really good and informative tutorials on his own YouTube channel about Next.js, React, TypeScript, Python, you name it. So I highly, highly recommend subscribing to it and checking out his videos. The link is also going to be down below the video. Anyway, now let me hand you over to Dave to guide you through this course. Hello and welcome, I'm Dave. In this series, we'll be building a searchable image gallery with Next.js, Tailwind CSS, TypeScript, and Zod. I'm going to assume you already know the basics of Next.js, Tailwind, and TypeScript, but if you don't, no worries. Our very own NetNinja has introductory courses on each of those topics. With this project, we'll specifically be learning a lot about how Next.js displays optimized images with great performance. It's really perfect for this kind of application. Let's take a look at the finished project before we start. I'm here in the Next.js image gallery and you can see the title of the project here in the top left and a search bar in the top right. And as I mouse over each of the images, they change in opacity just a little bit so we can tell we are over each image and there's more images as we scroll down and there's even going to be pagination. So as we click more on the first page, we'll come to a second page of results and then there will be pagination at the bottom of each additional page. Besides that, we can search for other topics Topics. So I could search for puppies and let's see if we get some cute puppies in the pictures. Yes, we do. Or we could search for something else like guitars. And yes, that comes up quickly as well. So we're going to learn about how Next.js can fetch and cache these images so they load faster. Also, how we can provide that pagination. And overall, just working with the Pexels API and bringing in all these different images that we want to check out in a nicely organized Next.js image gallery. I have VS Code open and we are ready to start our Next.js project. So to do that, I need to open up the terminal window with control and the back tick. And now if you haven't already installed Node.js, and I will assume you have if you already know the fundamentals of Next.js, you'll need that because we're going to use NPX and NPM in this project. To create a Next.js project, we need to type NPX create-next-app at latest, and it will begin to create our application and it will ask us some questions as we go. So do I want to use Next.js 13.4.12, which is what I'll be using for this project. I'll press enter to say yes. Now we can name the app. I'm going to name this NN for NetNinja-IMG-Gallery. And then it's going to create my project in that folder. So you want to start out in a folder, like I have a folder over here named Net Ninja. You want to start out in a folder that you want to create your project in. Okay, would I like to use TypeScript? I'll press Enter for yes. Would I like to use ESLint? Yes. Would I like to use Tailwind CSS? Yes. And would I like to use the source directory? Yes. And that source directory is just a parent directory over the app directory in Next.js. So we will be using that. I do want to use the app router as well. And I'm not going to customize the import aliases, but we will use just the default settings for those import aliases. So we'll go ahead and press enter for no here. It will begin to create this project. And after that, I'll open up the project that is going to be stored in the NN dash image dash gallery folder. So when I come back after this is installed, I'll have this folder open. Our new Next.js project has been created and now I have opened the nn-image-gallery folder and you can see all of the files it created here on the left. I'm going to go into that source directory and this is where we find the app directory as well. We want to go to the default page .tsx. And we get a lot of boilerplate in the introductory project they give us with Next.js. So I just want to really remove all of that for now. So everything between the parentheses here for the return, we'll just highlight that, scroll all the way down, and then I will hold shift when I get here and click once again, and then just press backspace to delete everything that was in between there. We can also get rid of this image import at the top. And let's even get rid of the parentheses now that we're here. 
And instead, let's put an H1 with the traditional Hello World and Control S to save. Now let's look at the layout.tsx that's right beside the page we just edited. And we can see what is already set up in here. We want to keep much of this, but we can remove some of it. Let's go ahead and remove this import of enter, the Google font. We won't be using that, so we can also remove where it is defined there on the next line. Let's go ahead and change our metadata here. So instead of create next app, let's type something in its place. We'll say next JS image gallery. And then we can put a description here as well. So here we'll put Net Ninja tutorial series by Dave Gray. Wouldn't you know I misspelled my name for a second. So it, that is our meta details now. And now inside of our root layout, we've got the children and then of course the type of the children. That is fine. We're going to change just a little bit here. One thing we want to change, of course, is we're not using that enter Google font, so we can delete that. But besides just the body having the children passed in, we're going to wrap that in just a little bit more and apply some Tailwind classes. So I want to create a main element here, and then we'll go ahead and take this closing main, and I'll use Control X to cut, and we'll put it after the children. And once we do Control S to save, it formats it once again, but I want to put a couple of Tailwind classes here on the main element itself. Let's set this equal to a max-width-6xl, then let's also use mx-auto. And if we mouse over these Tailwind classes, you can possibly see what these are. And if not, let me go ahead and look at the Tailwind extensions I have installed here because I do have one that might help you as well. So I do have Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. You might want to install that extension and then you would probably be able to see what I'm talking about here. When I mouse over any one of these Tailwind classes in VS Code, I get the IntelliSense that shows what the actual CSS is, and that helps me understand those classes. Let's save our changes and open up a terminal window and go ahead and type npm run dev just to make sure our project starts up like we expect it to. It says it is ready. The server is started on port 3000. We can press control and click localhost 3000 to go ahead and launch that in the browser. So let's take a look at our project. And yes, we have a black page with a small hello world at the top. So we officially have our Next.js project created. We've got a lot more to do. And in the next lesson, we'll start with the Pexels API that will allow us to bring in images to our image gallery. By the way, if you want to watch this entire course now without YouTube adverts, you can do. It's all up on the NetNinja website, netninja.dev. You can buy the course for $2 to get instant access to all of it, or you can sign up to NetNinja Pro and get instant access to all of my courses without adverts, as well as premium courses not found on YouTube, including my Udemy ones. That's $9 a month, and you can get your first month half price when you use this promo code right here. So I'm going to leave this link down below in the video description for you to sign up, and I really hope you enjoy this series, and please do not forget to share, subscribe, and like the videos. That really helps a lot and I'm going to see you in the very next lesson.